Hey there, welcome to the 18th Easy jQuery tutorial, part of easyprogramming.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the last of the CRUD operations, which is delete. In the last few tutorials, we learned how to get, how to post, and how to put data in a MongoDB database fronted by an ExpressJS uh, application that I built. In the last tutorial, we learned how to put where we had to send in the ID value as a URL parameter to the tutorials API in order to change the data in our table. And we saw that we were able to change all of these tutorials. And the delete is actually even simpler, but just like the put, it's also looking for an, uh, looking for an ID in the URL. So it's going to be even simpler. So I, that's why I did put before I did delete just to you get just so you get used to the URL parameters. And what we're going to do is we're just going to modify our put and we're going to delete uh, three of these or two of these functions, uh, two of these um, items in this table. This is for tutorial because they're duplicates, right? And they have uh, similar IDs, but they're but they're different. And we're going to target their ID. So I'm just going to take the ID of this one. So you'll notice that there are seven items. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And I'm going to edit that here. I'm going to change the method to delete. The data type that we're expecting to get back is JSON. So I'll just leave that there. You don't have to put anything there. And unlike put and unlike, unlike post, we don't have to send any specific data. So we can just get rid of this whole object here. And the success function can stay the same, that we're getting data back, where the ExpressJS app is confirming that we deleted deleted that that uh, element that um, that row in the database in in JSON format and then it'll reload the table so once I save this and I refresh it should delete this item so I'm gonna copy this and I'll control F so you can see that it's highlighted here now if I refresh this if I did everything correctly there you go it's gone so now if I control F this, I won't be able to find it because it's it's nowhere here and we, because we deleted it. And in our console, we can see that uh, this tutorial number was for tutorial, blah, 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 was deleted. Um, this is the item that was retur that's returned. And it also says XHR finished loading, delete on this uh, URL. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward, right? So let's just do one more. So if you're wondering how I know what the URL function, the URL format is supposed to be, uh, that's because uh, I created the the Express app, the ExpressJS app that's running in the backend as uh, acting as the API endpoints, and I told it to look for this URL function, this URL parameter, this URL structure API slash tutorial slash ID. And if it sends a put to change the data, and if it sends a delete to delete the data, even if we send in the extra data JSON that we had earlier here, just like uh, in our in our put here, it won't do anything because even though it's getting the data, it's not looking for it. So now, if I refresh, if I save this and I refresh this, hold on, I'll copy this so that you can see uh, when I do Control F, I refresh, and it's gone. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five rows, even though it goes from one to three, four, seven. But you know, this is uh, how uh, the delete the delete HTTP method works. It's, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, starting in the next tutorial, I'll start editing the HTML and putting in some forms here so that you can post, put, and delete data using form data and clicking buttons rather than editing your JavaScript and refreshing the page to manipulate the data. Uh, it'll show you how to create just a, a whole CRUD application uh, with, with jQuery. Uh, and this you can do this with, and, and this API uh, functionality that you learn here, you can use this with any APIs, including Google, Facebook, Twitter, blah, 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 whichever you want to use. Uh, well, I hope you've learned something uh, in the last few tutorials, the, the CRUD applications, the, the CRUD HTTP methods in jQuery. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Also remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. Uh, I do have a ton and I'm trying to create more the upcoming uh, teaser Raspberry Pi tutorials. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.